And we're back. What's again. up, fellas? Got my boy behind the camera here. We're yeah. about to do a sponsored video from Extreme Online Store. This mm -hmm. is a front lip for the VBWRX we got over here. 22 and above. Yeah, right here. So we've got to open it up and install it. Mm -hmm. Look forward to this video. Both the package is unpackaged, and what's in it is a three piece lip right here. And also, you got some double sided tape and some screws. So, yeah. Yep. Next step is to take off this lip, put on the new EOS lip, and then we'll see what happens. Yes. So, we got it all jacked up as you can see. And now we're gonna put this three piece lip together. So, if you see this, it has holes. This side has that. And you just simply go like that. And then after that's in, take these screws right here and you screw them in. You already know, it's about to be mad simple, hopefully. We are now screwing the pieces together, but as you can see on this one, come on, focus, it's not like sitting fully flush on there. There's like a tiny little gap. So, just something to know about. Also, uh, this package came with no instructions, so. Yes, there are, in fact, no instructions in here, but luckily we're pros, so we can figure it out. And that's the lip, guys. Take a look at where the seams are. They're actually pretty flushed. Yeah, the yeah. fitment is rather good here. That's very good. All right, so now time to go in here. Hands out here, unscrewing the old lip so that we can install the new lip. Okay, so we've removed the old lip, just a bunch of screws, and now we're about to install the fresh new EOS one. So here's the comparison between the old lip and the new EOS one. Yeah, this one is obviously a lot more aggressive and that one's more like stylish. Yep, that one's also gloss and this one's matte. Yeah. Now we're just gonna install it. Good you know, about to go on this naked looking WRX. Here we got that 3M double sided tape that came with it and we're installing it. Then gonna have to go through the slightly tedious process of peeling it off and shoving it up on there. Also, we cleaned the underside of this with water. You could use alcohol too if you want, just to like remove everything on the contact surface. Well, he just got it, but there's nothing more fun than trying to peel this tape off. It's actually mad annoying if you don't have any nails. Yeah, it sucks. All right, so we got the lip on, got all taped up, and now we're just gonna take that drill that's hiding there and drill it in. You already know. Right, so we just taped it on here, stickied it on, and before we start drilling it in, I'm actually going to show you guys what's underneath the car with this little flashlight here if it even works for you guys and there we go so yeah as you can see it actually lines up pretty well with the car it goes all flushed in it goes a lot deeper than the other lip that we have on so yeah these are the right here these are the holes you just want to screw in right there you go all along so yeah next shot you'll see is us screwing in the holes. Oh, we're drilling it in. There. Yeah, so I think in total, we'll count how many screws there are in total, but yeah, we're going to screw all along here. Okay, yeah. So we've done installing the lip now, so we're going to lower it, take some shots of it so you can see what it looks like, even though the car's slightly dirty. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this little cinematic section. Overall, the fitment is pretty good on this side. And then it follows along here. This is where it kind of got a little difficult because there's, like, a little gap. Yeah, like, right there. And also, like, right along here. But, yeah, I'm not sure how you can avoid that. But other than that, the fitment looks pretty nice and it definitely makes the car look a little more aggressive. Agreed. Yeah, the aggressiveness is the big part. Now it's like sticking out a decent bit and it looks aerodynamic so it probably does something. But yeah, so yeah. now we can drive at high speeds within the safe, the safe speed limit and yes. have more downforce or something. Alright, we'll show some B-roll right now.
All right, this is my man about to go up this not that large little dip on his stock suspension. Let's see how close the lift gets. Well, nice, he went at an angle, so it all worked out in the end. So here is the completed product of this EOS front lip for the WRX. And I think it looks pretty decent. It looks a little different than his uh, old gloss one, but I think it's all right. Overall, fitment is okay. Yeah, I'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10 for fitment. Yeah, because it's, it's got like that five foot rule, unless you like really know that's your car and you're looking at it. Mm -hmm. But underneath there's so many screws that we think that it's gonna be better rated for higher speeds and hopefully won't crack and stuff. And as always, it's got the three pieces as like every Dilbert swing does, yep. or left. Yeah. yeah, so again, just thank you EOS, uh, Extreme Online Store. Yep. for sending us this part it, it definitely looks good and we'll put the link to the part right here yeah right here yeah so click it make sure you click that like button as well if you like the video or yeah. if you just like i don't know what we do yeah and mm. check out the rest of our channel for like bullying videos and drifting and stuff like that too it's not just installations yeah we want you to have a good time on our channel yeah, yeah.